Oi friends! Yes, I'm sticking to this intro. Welcome to the second devlog of my game Ages to Survive. If you don't know what this game is, you've never heard of it? Well, it's a RPG survival sandbox open with a low poly stylist in the game. Now you know, thank me later. This week I wanted to add a crafting system. Here's how it went. If you want to craft something, what do you need? Some materials or resources? A pair of golden hands and a crazy mind. Well, I'm crazy and I can use some yellow paint to paint my hands, that's easy. So I'm just missing some materials. If you've watched some of my streams, you may know that I do have some materials. A few months back, I wanted to make some resource deposits, something like World of Warcraft has those ore veins and such. So I destroyed those to get some neat loot. Good shit. I know. So somehow, I managed to make that back then, and it still works amazing. I have some iron, copper, zinc, and carbon. And those can be used to make iron, steel, and brass bars. I also have some leathers, which I can turn into hides. I also have some cotton, flax, and silkworms, which can, with just a little bit of magic, turn into refined cotton, linen, and silk. Let's say you're not a wizard and can't just pizzazzle silkworms into silk. You'll probably need some kind of equipment to do that. So the first thing I did is I made some crafting stations. In total, I made six. One for blacksmithing. Woodworking, leatherworking, tailoring, alchemy, and cooking. This surprisingly took a long time. It was a bit difficult because, well, I mean, they're all just tables, except the cooking station, which is just a campfire. So I was stuck for multiple hours trying to make four kinds of different tables. And whenever I made one, I also needed to make it look elvish, because the first zone in the game is elvish zone, and I just wanted to match the theme. But wait, sampling, you might say. Cooking station is one, but you said you made four tables. One plus four is five. You said there were six professions. You're lying, you fuck. Oh, 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 wait, I'm getting to that. I was stuck on the tailoring station for at least three hours because I wanted to make that thing. You know that thing where there's a wooden frame and then some kind of a wheel and then you put the fabric in it and it does shit? You know what I'm talking about, right? Well. I didn't, so for about an hour and a half I was trying to figure out the name of that thing. Tailoring machine? Nope. Weaving machine? Nope. Fabric machine medieval? Nope. After going through a loophole of just clicking on the pictures for a bit till I found out what I wanted, I finally found out the name. It's a loom. L-O-O-M. Loom. What? Why? Why is it? I don't get it. You can mock me all you want, but I bet you two potatoes that you didn't know the name as well. That might be due to my explanation of it, but still. Crafting stations? Check. It's all good and fancy, but if you ever played Minecraft for two minutes, or less, which I know my viewers have played for much more than that, you will know a good thing to have is also some wood, stone, and apples. Or just any kind of wood in general. So I started a second quest with which I will try to make my game a bit less boring. Made some simple foods, apples, carrots, and of course, potatoes. Those can be made into a carrot salad, and of course, you guessed it, a potato salad. Mm -mm -mm. With those, I made a wooden bowl, which can be easily crafted with a log. I also made logs, which can be turned into sticks, and some stones, which can be turned into, well, nothing. But those also have their deposits. With the potion ingredients, I had some trouble. How do you make a potion? I went for the usual, just take a potion bottle and put some herbs into it. But which herbs? I asked a friend of mine, the one who helped me with the lore for the game. And when I asked him, he just rapidly asked the other friend to just make a random Latin word. He said something along the lines of alias, I think. That will work, of course, but I decided to just look online for a herb that has healing properties, and I found chamomile. You know what chamomile is. If you've been on this earth for long enough to get sick, you probably drank chamomile tea. So I made a chamomile deposit and chamomile pickup item. I also went ahead and made some empty potion bottles. For the game, I needed healing, mana, and stamina potions. I had some old ones I made way back, but those used an old texture, so I had to go ahead and change that. There's three tiers of potions, and I think they look really cool. With all of my resources made and imported into Unity, I now have to make a crafting system. 
despite of me thinking it's going to go awfully, because it went awfully every time I tried to make it before, this time I found a great bunch of videos on how to make a practic system made by Kirizadel. Sorry for butchering that, man. Yeah, but I really like how he handled crafting and making all the recipes. Basically, he uses the item container interface to help him with the recipe UI slots, which was new to me, but I liked it. It's really cool. Then he made a special variable, which contains an item and the amount of the item, which made it much easier to make recipes. I also like how he made the crafting UI, so I'll stood that from him. I know, I should be ashamed. Then I went ahead and made a system which will automatically make the recipe UI with the recipe I gave it. And I was really surprised because I made it and there were no errors. That never happens. I was very proud of myself. After that it was all about just making those recipes and assigning them to the correct station. And that's it. Now it looks like this. With that, I finished this week's goal of making somewhat of a crafting system. I hope you guys liked this video. It was a bit longer than usual, but hell, maybe you guys like that. I also want to apologize about the low audio on the last devlog. My girlfriend and Alihar informed me about that, so thanks to them, this video should be better. If you want to support the channel, you can go on to the Patreon. I think that's the best way to support me. There's a link in the description. But yeah, that's it for this week. Bye-bye, guys. And girls.